Avengers Endgame didn't simply hit the Disney Plus content shelves like the hundreds of other previously released Disney-owned movies did. On the contrary, it showed up on the new streaming service with a few added delights. Here's all the never-before-seen Endgame footage revealed by Disney Plus. The death of Black Widow was one of Endgame's most tragic moments. Watching Widow and her fellow hero Hawkeye engage in an emotional tug-of-war over who would sacrifice themselves to obtain the Soul Stone was heartbreaking enough. But witnessing Widow jump off that cliff and tell Hawkeye to let her go was devastating. But it could have gone down a bit differently. The deleted scenes available on Disney Plus reveal never-before-seen footage of Black Widow getting shot by Thanos' Chatari minions, who arrive on Vormir and begin firing at her and Hawkeye. As she's running toward the cliff's edge, Black Widow suffers several wounds, including one to the torso that leaves her crawling across the ground. In the end, she manages to turn around and shoot an enemy who was about to kill Hawkeye, then sacrifices herself as she does in the standard cut of Endgame. A less intense and unfinished deleted Endgame scene bundled with Disney Plus centers around designing the silvery Quantum Realm suits the heroes use during their time travel missions. In the scene, we watch as Tony Stark walks into an area at Avengers HQ, where Professor Hulk is outfitting a crude CGI mannequin of some sort. Iron Man inquires about the status of the Thingamajigger, then admires how the Quantum Suit design blends technology made by Hank Pym with Stark styling and a noggin bubble courtesy of Nebula and her spacefaring friends or as Tony calls them, The Rings of Uranus. What's your troop called? The Guardians of the Galaxy. When Professor Hulk states that someone will have to test out the Quantum Realm suit, Ant-Man says, not it, before Hawkeye steps into the scene and offers to take the suit for a spin. On Disney+, Plus, fans can also find two deleted Endgame scenes focused on Bruce Banner and the Ancient One, the leader of the Masters of the Mystic Arts who explains to Banner how messing with the Infinity Stones can alter reality if they aren't returned to the exact moment in time from which they were taken. One sequence shows Hulk meeting with the Ancient One, who's relaxing with a drink in her hand and a pair of sunglasses on her face. In this cut, she explains to Hulk that he's five years too early, and that Doctor Strange has no knowledge of the Time Stone for which Hulk and the Avengers are searching. The deleted scene ends with Hulk asking who the Ancient One is. The second deleted scene is an alternate take of the time travel explanation sequence. Here, the Ancient One is speaking with Hulk instead of Bruce Banner, evidence that she didn't knock Banner's soul out of Professor Hulk's body to better connect with him in conversation. The discussion goes mostly the same as the one seen in the theatrical cut of Endgame, but the deleted scene included on Disney Plus features the Ancient One admitting that she was aware of Thanos' potential for destruction but didn't do anything about it, since taking precautions with Thanos could have altered something else in the universe. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. You're a very interesting person. It's quite a burden. Another never-before-seen Endgame moment revealed on Disney Plus is a scrapped scene that shows Earth's mightiest heroes assembling in the trenches during the epic battle against Thanos. As directors Joe and Anthony Russo explain on the commentary track, the sequence was meant to be a building block for the climax of Endgame, but the Russos wound up abandoning the idea for a variety of reasons, namely that the moment was missing narrative substance and wasn't all that interesting. An offshoot of this idea, the Russos note, was to have this pep talk in the mirror dimension, the parallel dimension in which practitioners of magic can do things outside the public eye. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. The final additional scene snipped from Endgame that's loaded onto Disney Plus centers around Tony Stark in the moments after he snaps his fingers, defeats Thanos and his army, saves the universe, and sacrifices himself for the greater good. Post snap, he's transported to what Joe and Anthony Russo refer to as the Way Station, the metaphysical location where Thanos himself went after he killed his adoptive daughter Gamora to obtain the Soul Stone in Infinity War. There, Tony meets a grown up version of his daughter, Morgan played by 13 Reasons Why actress Catherine Langford. At first, he doesn't recognize the young woman he's speaking to, but when Morgan quips that the two of them are pretty close, Tony realizes she's the same person who often told him she loved him 3,000 as a child. Morgan explains that her father's sacrifice worked, that she got to live and grow up and be happy. When Tony admits that he's scared he made a mistake, Morgan says she understands, but she's very proud of him. She also assures her father that she's okay without him. I'm strong, like mom. And I'm happy. I'm happy we had the time that we did. Okay, and that you were there for me. Until you couldn't be. Of course, the scene wraps up the way all scenes between Tony and Morgan Stark should. I love you 3000. According to the Russos, the Tony in the Afterlife scene didn't make it into Endgame because it felt like it ground the movie to a halt. It saved audiences tons of tears as well, but you didn't need the Russos to tell you that.
Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite MCU movies are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.